Hi guys, Melvin here from Neuron Digital. In this tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through how to customize the ultimate new SEP template using Android Studio. This is the second part of the tutorial. The first part discussed how to set up the server side of the app. So make sure to watch that before proceeding to this tutorial. So let's get started. Let's import this folder here into Android Studio. So open up Android Studio, click on open an existing Android Studio project and just drag and drop that there, select new app and just import. When the project opens, the first thing you're going to do is to rename the package ID. So we're going to open up Java Neuron Digital. We're going to make sure that we have compact empty middle packages here unhighlighted and that we have Android selected from here. So go to Neuron Digital, right click, click on Refactor, rename and we're going to put in your company name, part of the package ID here. So I'm going to name it just company name. Feel free to name it as you want. Click on refactor and do refactor. So that's done. Now let's rename the app part of the package ID. Refactor once again, rename. And we're going to put in here the app name. I'm going to use use app name. I'm going to click on refactor and do refactor. Okay, that's done. Now let's open up build.gradle and we need to rename this application ID here the same as we did here. So instead of Neuron Digital, let's put in company name. And instead of new app, let's put in new app name. That's done. You can just press sync now and you will receive this error, which means that the Google service name does not match the new package name. So let's replace it. So we're going to select project now and we need to replace this file here. So let's get a new one, open up Firebase, go to project settings and from here, from general settings, just download this file here. Once the download is done, just use the newly downloaded JSON file to replace the old JSON file. So just paste it there. Okay. And overwrite and we can select Android back. Okay, so when those two steps are done, we can finally try the app. So press the run button. As you can see, the app has connected to the demo server successfully and this working. So now the next step is to connect it to our server. So let's go back to Android Studio, open up Java, company name, new app name and open configurations.java. And here we have the server URL. Let's go to our admin page and just copy the URL and just paste it there. Okay, so now if we press run once again, the app should load the data from the newly created admin page. As you can see, nothing has loaded because there's no articles yet. So let's go to the admin page and create an article for testing. So create a new article, put in test as the title. And we're going to set the submission date to three days ago and click save changes. Okay. So that's done. Just refresh it. And as you can see, we have the admin page connected to the app. So if we go back to configurations.java, we have some other parameters here, which we can change. So feel free to modify them. If you have purchased the extended license and you wish to use the in-app purchase feature, you can put in your public key from the Google play store in here. This line here is just for testing. It will just create sort of a fake purchase so that you can test the purchase. So if you want to go for production, just put in your premium product code in here, highlight this and unhighlight that. If you wish to follow the Edmo rules and you don't wish to show ads on your test devices, just put in the UUIDs of your test devices in this array. When you're done changing the configurations, you can go ahead and open values colors. From here, you can change the primary colors of the app. If you wish to change any color, just replace its hash code from here. When you're done from that file, open up strings.xml. This file contains all the text in the app. If you need to perform a translation, just change any text from here. In the end of this file, there's also the interstitial add IDs. So if you wish to add interstitial ads or banner ads to your app, just put in your add unit ID from AdMob in here. We already added Firebase to the template, but if you still wish to use Google Analytics, just get the Google Analytics 
ID from Google and put it here and it should work. The final thing that needs to be changed from this file is this URL here and it's basically used for sharing. So when you share an article, this URL will be used to open the app next time anyone clicks on it. Two things about this URL is that it needs to be in this format and you need to own this URL and it needs to be pointing to this URL here. When you're done with that, you can change the icons. So let's open up MipMap from here. And to change the icon, you just need to right click, new image asset, select launch icons here, and feel free to import any icon to replace the old one. If you wish to change any images, you can do so from here. These are the only two images in the app. So for example, this one here is the loading image, and this one is the ads image for the premium page if you are going to use it feel free to just copy and paste another image there to replace them so that's all when you're done from the customization you just need to go to build generate signed apk and you can just follow this wizard to export the apk